So if you've ever tried to build your own typewriter effect in React, and when I say typewriter effect, I mean an effect on your text that sequentially shows each character, so it looks like somebody's typing out in real time on your website or your web application. If you ever, ever wanted that and have tried to build that, it can be a little bit of a pain, and it's so simple that we might as well just use an NPM package for it. And the typewriter effect NPM package is so small and bite-sized but powerful that we can create this whole typewriter effect in one line of code. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to go into my terminal and I'm going to do npmi typewriter effect like that. You're going to see that I already have it installed. So it's not going to do a whole lot there for us. And what we can then do is I'm going to go over to our app.js and we're just going to put it right in here. We're not doing anything fancy here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go import and then typewriter from typewriter effect like that. And then in here, we can just create a component out of that. And how we give this any data is we declare an options parameter and then we give it an object. So what I'm going to do here is first do strings. And I'm going to have it cycle through a few different strings. So it's going to type one string out and then backspace it all the way, delete it all, and then show the next one, etc. So I'll do my name is Ben. Capitalize my name. And then I'll do I'm a React dev. And then uh, for the last one, I'll do thanks for watching. Like so. Perfect. So let's now close off our parameter like that save go back and now what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this little cursor like somebody's typing but you're gonna see that nothing happens and the reason that is is because we need to give it another um, parameter here and that's auto start so I'm gonna set that to true like that and then you're gonna see that it's going to type out each string in order so said my name is Ben I'm a react dev that's our second one and then lastly you're going to see thanks for watching and it's going to delete that and then you're going to see that now it's back at its original state well if we want to keep going around and looping just give it the loop parameter like that save that and now it will keep looping through these we can also if you want a little bit more of a cryptic look, we can give it a different cursor, maybe something like this. You can save that, and now we have a cursor that looks a little bit more fitting for a programmer. So yeah, that's really it. As I said, I said we could do this all with one line, so I'll just put all of these up for example's sake, like such. that I'll save that and now the title of the video isn't fake we have it all on one line so that's a super easy way you can create a typewriter effect next time you're doing that you don't have to mess around with intervals or anything like that you can do it super simply so I hope you found this short video helpful if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one